and welcome to my YouTube. It's going to be called Latitude. And uh, what it's going to be about is that uh, it has to do with uh, the um, skull again. And we're going to have to do with the heart that's in my painting. And I'm going to move right on and so I don't take up too much of your time. I know your time is valuable. I wish you take that broken finger and uh, subscribe. If you take a look at this doggy, black doggy looking thing, or whatever you may call it, some kind of animal, how it fits within the shadow. If you follow this line that runs across through here, that is this line that runs through here. Now, the latitude is going to be within a, a adjustment because you can see how long that doggy can go. Okay, I call it a doggy, so bear with me. And if you actually pull this down, you can see the heart that flows through here and here. But it also flows from here to here. There's latitude for up and down. It also has it from here and here. And I hadn't even seen these before. And I just know that they're there for Leo makes his art move. Okay, uh, uh, maybe uh, he wanted an earthquake. I don't know. Uh, but uh, because his, his paintings move, um, he made his art move. Now to show you, you see this is the bottom of the skull in the Mona. I'll show that to you in a little bit. But in, in that, and you can see the line going, and you line this up with the doggy again, okay, in, the, in this general area with, with the heart, you can see this angle cut for the shoe. Okay, and you pull it back down, you can see this line running through different variation that he used like connecting the dots. But without even moving you can see the other dots and the others and the others and the others. Imagine a car that you drew and you wanted to pretend it was going fast. You throw some lines behind it and a little smoke. Well he does it by the movement of his shoe in, in his special way. Much more talented than I, that's for sure. It's taken me many, many, many years just to pull this out. Now, if you follow, you see this curve that goes up and through here? Watch. You pull it and how it curves and goes and fits. If you take a look, you see how this line goes like this and cuts down? Watch. The line goes and cuts down. It matches the dress, okay? So that means if in general, not in always, in general, if I was really lucky, these little icons of his, this FL or, or uh, uh, SL, would show up. And unfortunately, they don't, but uh, because he's good. Now, if you pull this down, you can see the lining of the shoe. Watch, see, the lining of the shoe. And if you take a look, you can see some roll and some roll of the column. Okay, there's a column. So Leonardo da Vinci is very, very tricky. Now, with that in mind, you, oh, I was going to show you before we go. Uh, with that in mind, that's the skull we're talking about. Now that skull is what was connected down here. I don't know if I showed that to you. Let me see. Let me see. Well, then let me just do it real quick since we're set up. Okay. There's somewhere in there. Close. We'll get it close. So when you go to line it up, you can see how the arrows line up on the movement down here. Okay. I know you guys like shorter YouTubes because you only seem to su subscribe on shorter YouTubes, which is sad. But I could do this for a long time. Well, out of that, let me show you something real quick. And this is, okay, this is the Mona Lisa, and you see the column. And then there's straight across the other portion of a faded column, okay? Okay, so when you come across over here, you can use, you can use the closer part of the column that he's going to add the lines to, but I don't, uh, uh, necessarily believe that they're entirely not just there. For the reason is, 
I seen them jump out here and jump out here. You can see the rolls. And that's not necessarily meaning that there's not there because if you look at the workbench, um, the workbench matches uh, the other YouTubes of the bench that runs across. So when you flow up the bench and you pull it across, oh, is it going to do it in reverse? See? Okay, so that means the column is going to be here. So we pull it down and you can see the outline of the column. So I've, I've showed that too before. I can try, whoops, I can try to see if it comes up in the threshold. I tried that before, but I don't know if I tried it with this type of layer one yet. And we'll see if it if it comes out on, on a threshold. See, see how his one leg will and one leg won't in the darkness? That's Leo. He's very, 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 very tricky. Okay, so we know that I got a lot of work cut out for me. That the column, if it exists, you can see part of the line in here, but that's below the piece. But see, as he can shift, this piece here could be here on this rail. See, we shift it down to here. And that means his, his particular piece is up. Or we can shift this piece to up here because he has another straight line. And that means that we would have to move it up like this and, and slide it up. And that means this column's going to start in here and roll in and hide much more perfectly. But if we turn around and we take this and we, um, well, can't do it right now because I don't have the shift, but if I slide it all the way across, look on the other end, okay, there is the other end of where it would be. And what you see over here is some kind of hidden pole, which he would blend in. Leonardo da Vinci, of course, he wouldn't blend in either because he doesn't need to. I've seen him go right over the top of something in which um, uh, he, he, he's got no problems uh, heighten it. So, with that in mind, I I really really don't know what to say. Look at look at that. See, if you take a look, you see you see this this guy right in here. Okay, he's got the same little pop billy right in here coming on down. Okay, and he probably shares a piece of this. I wouldn't know. And that's got a happy face. Look at this. This has got a happy face. An eye and eye over here. So. Things like that is what I deal with. I deal with that all the time to pull out these things. And that's why I have 800 YouTubes. And these, these I know, are much more vague than what, what is. But you can see this roundness here too. Okay, Here's this one going this way. Okay, That is very dominant. Why? Well, I don't know. I've been working on it. I just don't understand how come he did it this way, which he wouldn't normally throw a red flag out there to say, here I am, when and this one too. But he loved hearts, and so he always drew hearts. Okay, And the Mona Lisa's face is a heart, if you really think about it. Okay, Because when you put the right deal on there, you, he, he has this, this heart face that flows through here. And that's Leonardo da Vinci, You're always writing love and and um, and uh, doing hearts. And remember, two circles make an eight. An eight stands for infinity. And if you make an eight just particularly right, kind of like a heart on top of a heart, you have infinity love. Leonardo da Vinci, it's in my YouTubes. If you really want to learn, jump in, subscribe, help me out for financial support would be, and also you know, moral support would be to where that I know that at least I have people out there that are extremely interested in learning about a magnificent, talented individual uh, that is uh, my my of my thoughts the smartest man on the planet, next to uh, God's 
given gifts of uh, obviously walking with Jesus and everybody else of using God's mind and his ways because you can't compare that and what well, I'm talking as a human as me and you and and and, and uh, going from there he had uh, absolute a uh, great heart and talents and with that I want to say this and wash your hands social distance um, uh, wear a mask uh, tell a friend use your broken finger hit the subscribe button um, give a hug to your mother and your father uh, my father uh, passed away uh, the 29th uh, eight years ago I think of him every day and if it wasn't for him I would I wouldn't be into um, uh, knowing about this it, it's all spiritual um, I actually come across this religiously and um, I was going to be a chaplain's assistant when I was like 18 um, I don't go uh, preaching or anything I only go into saying may God bless the whole world the universe and the heavens I hope to see you one day in Jesus name Amen